Did you guys know that the biggest watch YouTuber is not TGV, it's not Hodink, it's not WatchFind, but some guy called like Nako something? Like what? I've made a poll with this exact question on my channel and it turns out like one of three of you guys actually know who Nico is? You guys even like watch his channel? Like what's wrong with you guys? Like why? So Nico was a very successful uh, football player in Holland, not YouTuber, but actually a football player. He had some exposure to watches as a football player, but those are those watches that football players like. He's Hideous Rolexes, Richard Fails and stuff like that. But what happened is Nico got injured and he couldn't continue his uh, football career in uh, Holland. It's very sad. It's not, it's not a good, good thing when, when you get injured. He decided to go to Ireland because in Ireland uh, they sucked in football. They didn't know how to play football. He thought maybe he, after the injury, he would be able to uh, actually do okay in Ireland. She was still playing like pretty like reasonable on the uh, Ireland level and he actually did okay after the injury. He was able to uh, make money as a football player. Unfortunately, and Nico got injured again and it put an end to his career. So what does Nico do? So Nico decides to go into the watch business and he creates dealership current right and pay you know something but remember pride the idea of pride will keep coming back in the story again and again instead of going back home like a normal person would you could decide to stay in ireland without any job and do this like stupid watch business because uh, dad told him before he was actually going to ireland to play football that he's gonna fail very uh, quickly and gonna come back home so nico was too proud to go back home so he decided to do those like watch thing. The business had uh, kind of like ups and downs and pandemic happened. During the boom time, his business ballooned, he hired a lot of people, but after that, basically there was no business, nothing was moving. Because of pandemic, they passed some like furlough law. He was stuck with a lot of employees doing nothing. Hacker decides to go full speed on his YouTube channel. He actually did have a YouTube channel before, but that YouTube channel really sucked. He pretty much had no subscribers, he did some live streams that like not nobody watched. But now, because there is nothing to do. He decided to put all the effort of his company in that YouTube. Heka dedicated two of his full-time employees to figure out that like YouTube thing. They made Neko famous. They were genius. Neko's channel is exploding. Neko is becoming famous. Neko's channel is reaching 100,000 subscribers. So they did something right. And what do you think Neko did? Neko fired his had two employees that made him because because they actually told him that hey Nico like you like we made you and Nico got uh, pissed so he because he was so proud another interesting thing what he did his channel was called something else so after he fired them he actually renamed the channel Nico Lanner by his name <laughs> like that's his achievement like his channel is his achievement so now Nico is left with nobody because like Nico doesn't know how to do YouTube right Nico actually knows nothing about YouTube he still has his famous channel but he doesn't know how to make videos so what he did he decided to hire one of the assistants to those two employees and that assistant was able to basically continue exactly the same thing what these two guys did the channel kept going nothing bad happened so from 100,000 subscribers Nico reached 1 million subscribers and more so then let's think what exactly those two genius employees did uh, what made Nico's channel so successful they actually tried to hit only two metrics in, in YouTube. One was click-through ratio. If you look at all these thumbnails of Nico Lennon, you can see that all of them are scandalous. All of them are like clickbaity. A lot of the times that what thumbnail does is not actually what video is. So one is click-through ratio. Another one is retention. So they wanted people to keep watching his videos until the end. And that's why when you watch Nico Lennon's uh, videos, or like if you watch this video, you 
your head is probably starts hurting because like everything's changing, everything's flashing, there are all these like changes. So you end up clicking on the video and you end up actually be tricked to watch until the end. But Nico's videos are kind of like empty calories. Like you watch the whole video and like there is nothing, you learn nothing. Why did you watch it? If you guys want to learn something about watches, check out my channel. I have much better videos that you will actually learn something. Guys, just do not subscribe. If you watch Nico, you will not like the watches my channel is about. Uh, check out here where I'm comparing watch that Nico would like and watch that I like.